guys welcome back to my channel so it is tuesday the 16th of march i know the year is going fast and please ignore these spots <sighs> they just came out of nowhere but yeah um i haven't vlogged for a while i did vlog after my second operation which was in january so yeah i had a vlog all filmed all edited from january after my second operation so basically you won't know about it but um i've deleted that vlog didn't like it it wasn't what i wanted to upload it was all a bit mismatched um yeah but basically in january hi zoos um i had an infection in my ankle where my metal work was which meant that I had to have another operation to do a washout or a debridement, whatever you want to. The medical term is debridement. Um, to try and get rid of some of the infection. I was having weekly checkups um, at hospital, which was an hour away, which wasn't the best. But thankfully, up in the northeast, we have a ambulance patient service. Um, so they transport you to your appointments, which has been so helpful obviously Ben's working in that um my infection is still there you really want to wrong oh well we're gonna roll with it I still have my infection and I'm on antibiotics for it I finished those soon fingers crossed um I had an x-ray last week when I went for my last checkup and my basically the bone on your outside of your foot, I think it's your fibula, maybe, or your tibia, I don't know. But the bone on the outside of your foot, which is where my metal work is, I have got a cover on it because it's still healing. But um, where the main part of my metal work is, it's not healing as they would like the bone to heal. And we think it's because the white blood cells that are normally used to heal your bone, hello... Um, are trying to fight against an infection. Sorry, Zeus is in my way, aren't you? He likes to sit in our bedroom and watch over the hills and all the birdies that fly past. We have actually got a woodpecker close by. But yeah, um, my bone isn't healing as quickly as my inside of my ankle bone healed. Um, and they also have a worry that I've not got enough tissue to cover my metal work. So in the long term, my metal work is going to have to come out because the infection is just going to keep coming back um, and we don't want that to happen. So in the long term, yeah, the metal work will be removed. Um, I am on a broken ankle page on Facebook that my friend who did the same thing um, with her ankle when she broke it, she invited me on to. And people have said that when they've had their metal work taken out, They've got more movement in their ankle, which makes more sense. You haven't got a piece of metal, like, restricting movements. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's a positive. Um, sit down. Good boy. I'm allowed to drive now, which is super exciting. Uh, I can do my own thing and not have to rely on people. Um, I'm also starting, well, I've been referred back to physio again. Uh... And I can walk without my crutches now. Um, I have no boot on because I was stuck in a boot from January all the way till last Friday. Um, whenever I went out. So I was in a boot but that's been taken off now. And yeah, I just feel like my life is coming back. Bobby, he went lame last month. Um, he was on biotin because we were trying to help the crack in his hoof. Ran out I and mean, obviously I've not had a chance to go and get some. Um, and he went lame from it, from coming off of it, so we have kept him off of it because I don't want him to become reliable on it. I'd rather put him on a joint supplement that can help his joints because his hooves are healing so well. Um, luckily, we have another really good farrier up here and the people on my yard are lovely and they're helpful and all that jazz. He's doing really well. I found a really lovely girl who's part learning him and she's riding him and loving him like he's hers which is really nice because it means I've not got the added pressure of having to hurry up and get back on riding because he is getting quite bored 
I mean, he loves the time in his field and being part retired, basically. It's just nice to have someone to bring him back into work. And she's confident and she adores him. She was there actually today riding and, uh, yeah, Zeus. <laughs> Sorry. My dog's looking at a car that's going past. Um, what else have I got to update you on? But, yeah, everything's going really, really well, to be honest with you. I'm hoping to have the vet out this week to get his jabs done. He is due his jabs, I think it was last month actually, um, obviously I've not had a chance to really do anything, I've had so much going on I completely forgot and I looked at his passport I was like oh my god he's due his jabs. So yeah, he is also 27 next week, I think the 27th of March, he's not 27, oh my gosh, the 27th of March he turns 17 which is oh my gosh he's getting old. Um, and Zeusy turns four in May. Yeah, you do. But, um, yeah, all things good. I have got some clips of snow that we had in January. So, um, uh, I think it was January. January or February. I know we've had snow. It was February. We had really bad snow. It was like ten inches deep. Um, so I'll try and insert some clips there, uh, now. And when we had snow. But, yeah, I just thought I'd start. Bobby! Hello, mate! <laughs> Zeus, what's this? It's snow! I'm walking with my pictures guys, look, I mean I've got a bit of a limp but yeah, I also forgot to mention we have three cockerels now, um, we've called them Tom, Dick and Harry because I don't know what to call them, but yeah, three cockerels, um, we have one bigger one and he's a bit of a bugger, he doesn't let any of the other cockerels near the hens, so that's a problem, but also our hen has Mabel, if you guys remember, our rescue hen, She's taken quite the liking to Tom, which is the big one. Um, he's beautiful. She's taken a liking to him and not letting any of the cockles go near her or the other hens. So we're not sure what we're going to do. Before I just start the video, I've missed vlogging. Um, like I said, I did have another vlog and it was crap, to be quite precise. It wasn't what I wanted to upload, really. Um, so, yeah. Oh. This will be new from when you last saw. I did a little photo wall. Just turn on the light, but this is the little... I'm not going to show that big family picture up there. That's just Ben's family. But this picture I brought for Christmas for Ben. So it's his wellies, my wellies, and little Zeusy. But um, that was from a girl that I used to work with. I've then got this wreath from Feather and Flame. Um, my friend Louise made it for me and I brought it off her and I love it. It was a Christmas one, but I have it all year round. And then this is the one I got Ben for our one year anniversary. Can you not bark? <clears throat> I don't know who he thinks he is. Excuse the washing, guys. But uh, this, is what is, this is what happens on a daily uh, occurrence. He'll sit here and watch out the window. If the horses are galloping around in the field up there, he'll bark at them. If the Chickens or the cockerels are flying around. He'll growl at them. He's like a little guard dog, aren't you, Susie? Yeah. Hi, guys. It is Wednesday the 17th of March now. I said I was going to show you a video of mucking out this morning. Um, however, the loner for Bobby, she went there this morning and she sorted him out. So, um, oh, gosh, what's going on? She sorted him out. So I had a nice lion. Well, actually, I was still up by 8 o'clock. Um, but that's a lion. Um, I haven't really done much. Our wife isn't working, so I'm having to come out, use my data, and like do everything I need uh, while I'm out. Um, I do drive past the yard every time. Every time I come out, um, and Bobby is looking well. The sun is out again, and it's like 12, 13 degrees, so it feels like spring. I've got my summer shirt on and my gilet. 
and wash my hair this morning um i was gonna have a full shower and i just couldn't be bothered um so yeah and this spot is really making an appearance hello you can go now thank you but yeah i just thought i'd quickly update you as to why i haven't really shown the video mucking out but yeah i hope you're having a lovely day this video is like i said it's going to be like a week a weekly vlog um I don't really get up too much nowadays. I need to go to my tack shop and I need to buy a new fork, shavings fork. Um, so I need to go and do that, but that'll probably be Friday, maybe. I might go Friday or the weekend. So I'll bring you along to there if I feel confident enough. Um, yeah, I've just went to the shop actually. I brought myself an innocent smoothie in strawberries and bananas. Love this. And then I got myself a pot of strawberries and grapes because it's summer and I feel it's not summer, it's spring. And I feel really summery today because it's just really warm and I've shut my window and now I'm getting quite warm. So, um, yeah. Also, I'm a noob. These boots, I couldn't actually get these on when I first broke my ankle. But now I can get those on and they actually support my ankle so much more. So these are my barber ones and you can wear them down so they've got fluff inside um and they do fold down um and they're waterproof so love them um but they're my favorite boots in december um tina from life on the left rain you might go check her out i love her i literally wait for all the videos to come out and i sit there and watch them um basically she was doing insane giveaways over vlogmas and i entered one i enter them all the time i like to support other people on instagram and youtube and um I entered one for some Fairfax and Favourite Boudicca boots in Oak and I won them which I'm so surprised about because I never win anything in my life um, but I won them and they're at home in a box and I haven't been able to wear them obviously because I broke my ankle I just wanted to put them on but they are quite tight fitting and I don't really want to force my ankle in because they just about get into these boots where I can unlace them all to make them a bit looser um, so I am scared that if I try and put them on my ankle will just come apart again, um, but yeah, that was really exciting. I'll have to show you, I also got a Fairfax and Favour Mini Windsor in the limited navy croc and tan suede, I believe. Um, ben got them out for Christmas. So yeah, my little Fairfax and Favour collection is coming along. Um, I can't wait to be able to go out more. So I can wear my stuff out. Um, this gilet is so comfortable. I'm not going to show you what it says on there. Because it's part of. Basically I'm part of Young Farmers. And this has my badge on it. So you all know where whereabouts I live. I know obviously I live in the Scottish Borders. But I don't really want to be telling you. What part Young what young Farmers group I am a part of. Because that's just confidentiality. But yeah. I'm just downloading some videos on YouTube to watch. Um, that's the benefit of YouTube Premium, actually. You can download videos and watch them when you've got no Wi-Fi, which is what I've been doing. Or you just download on Netflix. And I've actually downloaded a couple of episodes of Vampire Diaries. So I need to watch those. Um, but look how green my eyes look in this, in this light. I absolutely love it. Yeah. I hate my hair when it's just been washed. It's all like, uh, there's no volume to it. But I just thought I'd update you, it's, Tuesday, it's Wednesday, it's beautiful weather, and I'll probably take you to the yard later on actually, um, why not? Why the hell not? So yeah. Good morning guys, it is Saturday the 20th of March, and it is about 20 to 9. I am just on my way to the yard, and I'll probably feel me mucking out, maybe uh, the weather is beautiful and i'm gonna turn bobby out naked with a fly mask on fly mask on i've just had some tea cakes for lunch uh breakfast tea cakes for breakfast and a nice cup of coffee to get me started and then i'm just gonna go and sort bobby out he was ridden yesterday by his part loner um feeling good in himself apparently but yeah i can't really see it. it's so blinding um crikey make my eyes bloody hurt oh my god but yeah i just wanted to start this this 
day off again i haven't vlogged for a couple of days just because i have had nothing to vlog uh yeah bye <laughs>place an order with the little mount company and the instagram will be down below um but how cute is this packaging and it's got beautiful packaging and it came in pink obviously cover this up but how cute so let's open it let's open this one first how cute are these little stickers? I love it. Oh, it smells so nice. Are you ready? This is the female one that I ordered. Oh, it's so pretty. I don't know if you can probably see, but there's gold leaf on it. Wow. Okay. Let's move all of this. So we've done put that one there. And let's go on to this one. Nicely, it smells so nice. Oh, wow! Some more gold leaf. Uh, yeah, I think they look really sweet together. Actually, they're actually not expensive either, so yeah, definitely worth the money. And now let's get into this little box. Oh, we good. Thank you for your order. So this little piggy is Snow Fairy. Have a, have a little smell. You wrap these up really nice, Gabby. <laughs> so, this little piggy is Snow Fairy. So you can, oh, that smells so nice. Wow. And then this one is Mint Chop Chip. Ooh. Oh, that smells like the ice cream. Wow. And then we've got a 
orange pig. Just unwrapping it. Time lapse. And here's gingerbread. Wow, that smells nice. And then the last pig is the brown pig. So here's white musk. Beautiful. Got my little piggy collection. And then got a white rose in, pink rose in lemon and lime, which smells lovely. And finally, how cute, a white mouse in coconut. Smells beautiful. This is the business card, so if you want to pause the video, um, yeah.